Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. And today we are going to be going to, well, not today. This is the same day as the last episode, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, in this episode here we are going to be going to uh, the Cultist Tower. Not really because we're going to be climbing the uh, Cultist Tower. Whoa. So Strago's been here the entire time, worshipping Kefka. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, good job there. Old keys bag? Okay. Hmm, that's virtually unchanged from the Super Nintendo version. Okay, well, yeah. Got Strago back in our party. More party members, alright. Yeah, and uh, uh, there is actually one more character I can get now, but now is the point in the game where if you want to do level grinding, uh, I would recommend it now once you get uh, all the characters I've gotten uh, up to this point if you've been following uh, the order that I've got my characters. Because the last, uh, the last character you can get in this game is, uh, well, I'm not gonna spoil who he is, but when he levels up, he won't get Esper bonuses because he can't equip Espers. I will say that much. But yeah, at this point, you've got pretty much most of the characters in the game. And, uh, if you're gonna, and, yeah, just now, if you would, if you're gonna level grind now, now would be the time to do it because. When character, if you're going through the world of ruin, and as you're going through, uh, you're gaining a lot of experience, and uh, let's say you're at like level 45 with, on average, with most of your characters, and you get realm back. Well, when you get that character back, uh, their their level that they start at, or you get them back at, will be the average level of all the characters that you've acquired up to this point. So I tried to get as many characters I could back uh, without gaining too many experience levels uh, that way I don't miss out on Esper bonuses like strength plus two and magic plus two but uh, yeah that's about it really and uh, there's something I want to bet at the Coliseum and I'm gonna go ahead and do that next okay we're back and this isn't the Coliseum and okay this is the enemy I'm looking for uh, you can actually steal and partisans from these guys so uh, yeah, if you don't want to uh, try winning them from, uh, what is it, damn, you're going to kill Locke there. If, uh, yeah, if you don't want to try winning them from Tyrannosaurs, you can steal them from this from these guys here. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try that. Might take a little bit. And I'll just edit out however long it takes me. Okay, finally! That took forever. Uh, these guys are weak to fire too, by the way, so... And yeah, I used the Vanish status after uh, those things did an attack and they killed two of my party members, so... Yeah. Bastards. And that's all I wanted to do, and now I will definitely meet you at the Coliseum. Okay, we are here in the Coliseum, and I'm about to bet one of my partisans here for a cat ear hood. And I'm, yeah, I'm gonna fight a were dragon. And I'm gonna be using Setzer for this battle. Hopefully, I can get an instant death attack in on him. Except, wow, that was lucky. Is this gonna work? Uh, I didn't think so. Come on, Setzer, just attack. Come on, attack. Attack! 
fucker. Actually, as a matter of fact, if he's gonna do that, I'll use that, uh, that relic I just found. The Lich Ring, if I can find it here. Yeah. Yeah, that might be, uh, that might be useful. Well, it doesn't even matter now. I killed him in one hit like I wanted to in the first place. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, bet, bet another partisan for a cat ear hood, and then I'm going to adjust my setup again. Okay, we're back, and uh, yeah, I forgot to go over something there. Uh, yeah, I won the cat ear hood, and basically what that does, it doubles the gill obtained after battle. So, uh, yeah, if you're farming for gill in certain areas, uh, have Realm in your party with the Cat Ear Hood equipped, and yeah, you can get double gill, and that's pretty nice. Well, anyways, now we are going to be betting, and I have no idea uh, who I gotta fight. Okay, I'm gonna be fighting a slag worm, and I'm gonna use Celeste for this battle. Wow, that sucks. Wow, she's gonna cast Flare? Wonder how much HP this guy has. Can we take him out? Yeah, as long as he doesn't use another physical attack, can we get him? Oh, don't use Runic. Whew, thank God he missed. Another Flare spell? Reflect, what are you doing? Come on, Celeste. Use your physical attack. No! God damn it. Whatever, let's try that again. That was bullshit. If she would just use her or her uh, physical attacks like she's supposed to, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. No! Don't fucking use that bullshit. Use your physical attack, or cure, do something smart. I might have to... <coughs> actually, yeah. I might have to equip the Paladin Shield for this. Because she's being an idiot. Quit using Runic! Come on. What the fuck are you doing? Well, that's great. Can I absorb Earth? No. Uh, okay then. Where's my Paladin Shield? Where the fuck is my Paladin Shield? Who's got it? Okay, Locke's got it. Yeah, let's see if this helps. Haha. Uh -huh. Now she actually wants to do physical attacks. That makes a whole lot of sense. And I don't think that's going to work. Nope. Hurt him, though. Yes! Can we get him? Can we get him? Is this gonna take him out? Yes! And we get the Merit Award. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna take a pause break. Okay, we're back. And we are around the village of Thamasa. And we got a new enemy here. Keck Tower. They have really high evade, but... Not high enough to avoid shurikens. And yeah, you get 10 magic points and 20,000 gil for beating those guys. And uh... Yeah, I want to actually fight and kill 10 little cag towers to fight a boss in this area, this desert here. So yeah, 
And uh, I think there's another enemy I can show off in this area. I think it's the enemy I just fought in the uh, Coliseum, actually. Yep, this is it. Slagworm. Just use your best attacks against this guy. That might have to heal Shadow. Or not. That should kill him. Yeah, you get a ton of gill in fighting in this desert. So yeah, by the time I'm done fighting in this desert, uh, getting all the cat towers I need, I'll actually have enough gill uh, to buy something at the auction house. Yeah, this is going to be a kind of a short episode, but... Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, if you want Genji shields, you can bet Thunder Shields at the, uh, the Coliseum. Uh, you didn't obviously see me do it because, well, I like the Thunder Shields better because they provide more elemental protection. So, yeah, that's why I didn't do that. And, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of Thunder Shields, so... Alright, well, that's about it. That's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is Veteran0121. See you next time.